Welcome to Shape My Line. This is the trail building series where you get to vote on the next features that I'm building on this trail behind me here. Right, is it on? Yeah, all right, welcome back everyone. Episode seven of Shape My Line. I know it's been a long time since I filmed one of these because we were snowed out up here, but the snow just cleared from a big rainstorm. We're back out here. Feels so good to be back out here and I can't wait to get this jump behind me finished, get the bridge work done, get the landing done, and then we can figure out what we're doing next. I won't be getting into the bridge today because I'm out here by myself. I can't carry those massive stringers on my own and I'm still figuring out if I'm doing cedar slatted or a dirt top bridge in the comments in the in the community section of youtube here you guys voted for the cedar and i quickly realized it's a lot harder to find cedar in this forest than just to dirt top it so if i'm going to go that route it's going to be a little more work but i'm totally down to do it i gotta build this based on what you guys want to see all right before we get into the digging though i have a really fun announcement to make i am really really stoked and honored to be joining the pearl azumi athlete roster these clothes you see me wearing right now are full Pearl Izumi. And my favorite thing they make so far that I've tested out is these pants I'm wearing right here. This is the Coast Pant. It is pretty thin and stretchy, but also quite durable. It kind of has trail building and riding in mind. So it looks casual, it looks chill, but it is actually a really sick riding pant. And it's hopefully gonna make a really good building pant today. I guess we'll find out. Again, I'm super honored to be on the Pearl Izumi team. This is gonna be a blast. Anyways, enough of my sponsors. Let's get over to the landing zone of that hip jump behind me and I'll show you what I'm thinking for the next part of this trail. Down on the second hit of the line now after the mega step up, if you look behind me there, you can see there is the tarp on that lip. So that lip is mint. And I'm really surprised that this lip is staying quite dialed. I think it's because I uh, like came in with the flathead shovel and scraped all the snow off right after the big first snowfall. So tons of snow didn't have to melt on the takeoff. So that's a good tip for you guys. If your stuff gets really snowed out, try to get that snow out of there as quick as possible. And then when all the melt happens, it won't wash out your features so badly. What I'm gonna do is keep building up this landing behind me, really shape it up, stand on top of that takeoff and get a good sense of what the angles should be, kind of try to visualize that and then start figuring out what this run out behind me is looking like but I feel like it's gonna be just a full day job on its own just to keep stacking and shaping and getting this the way it needs to look. And then after the jump here, there is so much land to work with and I can't really decide what I wanna do, but there's one thing I do know I wanna do and that is build a creek gap over top of the creek that runs through the middle of the gully. On the first two hits up here, I've just been like weaving through the gully, battling drainage. It's been a real pain. And how sick would it be to make a creek gap? So I'll let you guys kind of help me decide what the run-in should be for that, what the jump should look like. And we're gonna save that probably for episode eight or nine. We'll see how I progress with this landing zone here. All right, so that's the general plan for everything. Let's kick things off and get straight into the build lapses now.
It feels so unreal to be back out here digging in the dirt after a long break from the snow. As you can see, I'm standing on the landing of the next jump after the mega step up. So this will be a hip step up and it will be pretty cool. It's looking kind of long, but I think once it works, it'll work well. I don't know. I'm just gonna test it out. I'd rather make it too big than too small, right? Because you can always shave things more mellow. You can always adjust things a little bit and going bigger is better. That's the name of the game out here. So we got a nice big long landing. I'm pretty happy with it. I don't think I need to stack it any higher. And it has a nice gradual transition into this berm here. And as you can see, if I stand right head on, it's really sick. You have like a really nice smooth transition there where you go landing to corner. And this corner is a little gnarly right now. It's definitely steep, tall and short. And the radius might be a little too short. So it might feel like sliming a wall. But I just really wanted it to get looking awesome for now. And I might widen the radius a little bit. I give it a nice tall apex. So that's going to be really flowy. And then that will lead into what will be another step down here. I think I'll do another speed gap. And that's going to be directing us back to the gully where the forest really opens up. And I'll have a handful of options for you guys to choose from. So that'll be up to you. And that is it for the building in this video. Thanks for watching and we're gonna follow the usual format and go into some riding now. First ride of the year. I'm pretty excited because this is my first ride of the year. We've been buried in snow up in Cumberland and I'm down here at Mount Suhalem and Duncan right now. Everything is clear and I'm on a trail right now called Loam Line. So I'm gonna show you this one and it's super cool. It's the only double black trail in the area and I haven't rode it in like almost two years. So I'm really excited just to get back on the bike and hit a really sick fast flow trail. All right, let's get after it. Yeah, that was so fun. And that's a wrap for this episode of Shape My Line. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all you guys. And I would love to feature whoever wants to be featured at the end of the episodes. So if you'd like to see yourself at the end of any of these videos, 
Go to the link in the description here, join that group folder, you gotta sign up for it, and then you can upload your content and I'll download it and throw you at the end of the videos. Here are the latest submissions from the last little while. Thanks so much you guys, and I'll see you again soon. Peace out.